So I have been sent some brakes from Escute and I've got the Nitino Pro behind me and one of my issues with it, one of my biggest bugbears is it doesn't have hydraulic brakes. It's a great bike, it's got good gears, good power, good performance, feels comfortable, feels nice. It just, it's just a nice bike, really is. But the brakes are a little bit of a letdown. Um, on the old uh, Voyager Pro, used to have hydraulic brakes. Well, this one hasn't got it, but, but look at these. I've been sent a pair, try not to lose the screws. I've been sent a pair of X-Tech hydraulic brakes. Now these are semi-hydraulic brakes. These go on that bike and use the cable on the top there. They use the cable drive to pull the hydraulics and these have got hydraulic pistons in them and these should give me a lot more braking power. Now they've got um, everything, everything's here. All I've got to do is literally change these, take the screws out, put these, take the screws out of that one, put these screws in and put them on. But what I want to do, uh, and they also, I'm just going to read what's on them, the X-Tech, and this has got um, an F180 rear 160, and this has got an F160 rear 140. So you must have a front and a rear on these. They're probably slightly different. I just need to work out which one's which. Um, in fact, they both look identical apart from the bracket that's on them. So uh, yeah, I just need to work out which one's the front, which one's the rear, um, and then test them out. Now, I know this is gonna be a really, really hash test of how good these brakes are, or whether they're any better than the ones I've got at the moment, um, but I've set my camera up facing up my driveway, and you can see my gate up in this top corner. So in this top corner, I've lined my camera up exactly on the rule of thirds okay now a third grid if you don't know anything about photography a third grid comes across this way and down this way and i've got a point on this corner exactly on that corner so i can line this camera up again after i put these on okay and my tripod is also set on the floor in two points so i know exactly where it is so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just take the bike up the road <sighs> flat battery sorry that's cut out so yeah like i was saying i'm lining this up in the dead corner and what i'm going to do is uh, to test these out, I'm going to ride up the road, get the bike up to about, I don't know, we'll try at 15 mile an hour, 10 mile an hour, 15 mile an hour, maybe 20 mile an hour. I'm gonna come down the hill slightly, because it's a slight slope just there. I'm gonna come down, and as soon as I get to my gate, I'm gonna yamp on the brakes and see how far it takes to stop. And then I'm gonna put these on, and we'll do the same thing and yamp on the brakes and uh, see how, it's not very technical, but it should, if it's a drastic difference, we will see the difference. Okay, and I'll try and mark out roughly how many paces I take to stop. If I make it to my van, which is round the corner, round here, then we've gone a long way. Um, like I say, not very technical. I'll try it at 10, try it at 15, and I might even try it at 20 mile an hour. So I'm just gonna leave you recording and yeah, wish me luck. First of all, without these and by the way these red ones look awesome they're gonna look great on the bike so i'm gonna put them on put them down on the floor so they're safe and uh, i'll be back in a minute i wasn't very impressed with the first test so i'm going to do it again um this time I'm, i've lined the camera up in a slightly different way so when I zoom in when I zoom in the point in this corner is now lined up on the third and you should be able to see a bit further that way as I go past so uh, yeah hopefully this should work better right let's see what happens so, I'm actually in fifth gear this time, so I should be able to pedal a bit quicker. First of all, 10 mile an hour. Gate post. Okay, that's the first one. And now we're gonna go 15 mile an hour and see what difference this makes. Fifteen. Okay. So, 
apart from locking up the brakes, you can see that it took a little way to get there. So let's see what difference it makes by changing these gears, these brakes. Both these calipers have a, a metal bracket on the bottom of them and they've both got, it's starting to rain as well, this isn't good, is it? Uh, they've both got a different number on them. This one's got F160 R140 on it, on there. And this one's got F180 R160 on the back there. So I'm going to, they look identical. They look exactly the same, the identical shape. The screws are in the same place. The screws are the same width. Everything is identical. Um, they're both uh, HB 100s. There's no difference whatsoever apart from these extra metal brackets that have been added. So I don't know whether they're for a different bike or a different mounting system. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the one that's got the bigger number on it. So the 180, 160 on the front and then the 160, 140 on the rear. Because you always have a better braking power on the front than you do the rear anyway. So that's what I'm going to do just if there is a difference. They also come with four replacement screws. Um, you'll need an Allen wrench or an Allen key that I've got here. And I've also got a little pair of pliers just in case I need to pull the cables through, but I don't think I will. Um, and they've also got the Loctite blue uh, mark on them. So you put them in, they should be in solid once they're in. So um, yeah, let's get going. So I'm gonna try and work around you and the video as well uh, as trying to fit this as well. So first of all, I think it's a five mil Allen key that we are going to need to slacken off the brake. So I'm gonna wind in um, the first part in the top and I'll wind that all the way in to make sure it's loose. Then I'm gonna take the clamp off and basically undo it so I can take the, the wire out. The caliper is off, so that's the caliper we're taking off and that's the caliper we're putting on. So we're taking this little tiny uh, black one away and we're gonna put this bigger red one on and this one's got the hydraulics in it so it should work a lot better than this one, okay? levers okay any adjustment will be on on this part here you'd wind it up if you need it tighter you wind the thread up and then do the locking tab up and that makes it tighter okay so we're going to try that out in a moment wind it right down first and we're going to see how well it works and that's the front one done So over to the rear brake now, same again, we're gonna take this caliper off and put this one on. And you can see how easy it is. You've just got to undo this screw and that goes in this side, undo this clamp and that goes in this side. And then you've got this shape here that's just in between. So it's exactly the same, one there, one there. They're just in a slightly different position, that's all. So first of all, make sure that everything's okay. We're just gonna undo the clamp and the caliper comes off. So we take our new caliper, take the plastic retainer clip out, and then that slots back over the top there. And we're just gonna, what we're gonna do with this one first, we're gonna slide this on here because we haven't got the room to be messing with it. So we're gonna slide that on first, all the way down. And then we're gonna put the 
brake pads over the top of the two calipers like that and then put the screws back in. tension and we just check the back brake to make sure that everything's working okay. That's it, the calipers are now on. My wife brought me out a cup of coffee. Mm. Perfect. And we now have two small black calipers. I've put the brackets on the bottom of these as well just to keep them safe and to keep these tabs in. Um, just in case they've ever got to go back on. Um, make sure all your nuts are done up nice and tightly and just check your cable ties as well and make sure nothing's rubbing against the back wheel. Same at the front, just make sure everything's attached and not rubbing against the front wheel at all. Um, that's the only thing I would say. Um, I'm gonna go and try them now, I'm gonna go and test them out, but they look really swish. If nothing else, they, they do look like they're gonna work. Um, they're definitely a different braking power. When you feel the, the, the grip on the front, um, it feels different, it feels like a solid um, brake. It doesn't feel like a loose brake, it feels quite hard, um, like it's, I don't know, like it's doing something, <laughs> I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna give it a try and see what they work like and then I'll uh, report back and set up this uh, stopping test and see how good it works. So yeah, very, very easy, very, very easy. Two screws and a five mil Allen key. Or should I say two screws with a five mil Allen key and uh, a locking nut, that's it. Very good. I've set the camera back up again using this line, so when I zoom in, that's on our corner. So do the same thing again. All I've done is take it up and down. I've taken it up and down two or three times. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna see what they do and see if they break a little bit better. Um, they're obviously not bedded in. The pads need bedding in a little bit. Uh, so it's not a very scientific test, but we'll give it a go anyway. So our first one is going to be 10 mile an hour. So let's get it going and try our 10 mile an hour test. So here we come, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The back brake's definitely locking up nice and tight. The front brake is a lot more powerful. Um, I don't squeeze the levers quite as much. So let's go 15 and just to see what that does. So they definitely operate better. With that brake. As soon as I yab the brakes on. So I just want to do that 10 mile an hour one and that'll do us. 10 mile an hour. They're definitely breaking better, but they do need bedding in. So that is a conclusive, non-conclusive random test. If anything else, we've got semi-hydraulic brakes. It's got to be an improvement. Uh, price will be going up on the screen. I think they're about £69. Um, I can't guarantee that because I haven't looked. Um, but yeah, really nice. They look the part. They feel good. The levers don't come all the way back. They do feel solid and tight. And the bike is definitely rigid. Um, when you pull the levers in, they just stop. They don't have that, you know, that stretch that you normally get. So uh, yeah, we'll see what they're like. Worst comes to the worst, we need full hydraulics. Ciao.